Hey, Comic Book Nation, this is Dallas Jackson with your Comic Book Inside Look. Marvel Studios has seemingly cracked the code, and nowadays they're making tons of money by doing great movies that both critics and audiences love. But that hasn't always been the case. Ever since we started to get comic book movies, we've also gotten a mix of bad comic book movies. And it wasn't that long ago that some even pretty good ones were getting beat up by critics, and worse, ignored by the audience. So we decided to take a look into our comicbook.com user composite rankings and found seven comic book movies that deserve a second chance, and maybe even a reevaluation by you guys. Here are three that piqued my interest. Now first, let's just rip off the band-aid and talk about Zack Snyder and Man of Steel. You don't need to agree with what Snyder is doing with Superman, and I don't, but it is clear that he has a take on The Last Son of Krypton. And it's time to admit that for the most part, the way Snyder handles the character makes a lot of sense within his context. And there's one thing you can't deny, he also is a visually striking filmmaker. He can bring together a cast and he gets the best out of them. Next up is The Rocketeer, the early comic movie from Joe Johnston, who would later go on to direct Captain America the First Avenger, is a bit on the campy side. But it's a ton of fun, it's beautiful to look at, and for being a 1991 release, with limited technology compared to what we have today, it's still holding up surprisingly well. Lastly is Mystery Men. This movie is set in the world of Bob Burden's Flaming Carrot Comics, and it was a strange and silly movie then, and guess what, it's a strange and silly movie now, but it doesn't mean it's not worth watching. Paul Rubens, Greg Kinnear, and Eddie Izzard are all hilarious, and nothing can compare or top The Sphinx. Other flicks like Watchmen, Punisher Warzone, Dread, and even Josie and the Pussycats they get a nod for ones that we think you should take a second look at. With your comic book inside look, I'm Dallas Jackson. <laughs>